Underwater spearfishing is a fairly recent invention, but it now provides the tribe with many of their daily fish, so it's vital I master it. Morgan is once again going to be my instructor and guide. This is going to be a, a very new one for me. Uh, in terms of fishing, we're talking really close quarters in a hostile environment. I'm going to be going under the water and trying to spear a fish. I have to say that one thing that's in the back of my mind is that uh, if either Morgan or myself spears a fish, you're going to have a struggling animal under the water, possibly bleeding or very likely bleeding, and this is water that's got sharks in. Now, the local people, as far as they're concerned, they don't get attacked by sharks. They do have this special protection. I'm reassured by Lawrence saying that I too have protection. But of the five people from other tribes who have been killed by sharks in recent years, all of them were underwater spearfishing. Morgan can hold his breath for a couple of minutes underwater and immediately dives down to about 50 feet. It's hard for me to keep up. Morgan's a master at this technique and within minutes has his first kill. We've got a fish here, Morgan, second go, I think, but we've got to get in the canoe quick before anything comes in that might be interested in us. Watching Morgan lets me see how the experts do it. Now, it's my turn. As I start the hunt for a target, I spot a moving shape. It's a white-tip reef shark, cruising just feet below me. This type of shark is notorious for being very aggressive and attempting to steal speared fish. My initial reaction was to point the spear at it, then it came into focus, and it's just a shark cruising over the drop-off. And I'm just thinking, you know, what am I doing? This thing's looking for a meal. I'm about to potentially, if I did get a good shot in, give it a sort of a bloody tasty offering, but I'm gonna be very close to that. So, I don't know, I think I need to uh, just get my breath back and get my pulse down a little bit. As well as the circling sharks, I'm having real problems getting down to the depths I need. Over the next few days I practice and gradually improve my time underwater and the depths I can reach but the diving is physical and nerve shredding and there's the constant threat of sharks. Some sharks are even said to be attracted by the sound of a spear gun being fired. After a few days of diving, I've not got a single fish to show for all that effort. Speared one at last. That's actually pretty pathetic. It looked, it looked a lot bigger in the water. Oh dear. Well, I've enjoyed some success with some of the techniques here, but. Uh, I don't think yet that, that underwater spearfishing is one of them. OK, I hit the target once, but uh, in, in terms of a meal, in terms of sort of energy value of what I hit, you know, I think even the, the village cat would turn its nose up at that. My pride and my credibility have taken a blow, so this makes it all the more important to succeed with my childhood dream of catching and releasing a shark on a handline.